next problem on uh, divided differences here they are asking us to construct the interpolation polynomial first then they are asking us by using this interpolation polynomial find the value of y at x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 9 Okay, here is the difference divided difference table. We have written the x values here, f of x values here, that is y values. First divided difference column is this, and these are the entries denoted by these forms. Here you can observe here we have f of x0 comma x1 here we have x1 comma x2 then continuation x2 x3 x3 x4 x4 x5 and x5 is the last entry in the given data now let us see how do we find these uh, entries values here how do we find this um, this value to find this uh, value go to its uh, previous column take uh, 96 minus uh, 10 in the numerator as we have taken here in the denominator it will be x1 minus x0 so that is uh, 4 minus 2 which we have written in the denominator here now how do we find uh, the next uh, entry how do we find this entry let's go to the previous uh, column and uh, subtract 196 minus its preceding value 96 it will be 100 divided by yes, x2 minus x1 that is a 5 minus 4 here yeah we have written that 5 minus 4 in the denominator here next how do we find this entry how do we find this entry? Yes, go to its uh, previous column and uh, subtract this value minus its uh, preceding value. That is uh, 350 minus 196 in the numerator divided by x3 minus x2. So let us see what we get. We get this. How do we find this value? Yes, go to its uh, previous well, previous column, subtract the entries like this. Always you have to subtract uh, the value minus its preceding value. Okay. Then in the de uh, denominator, we have x4 minus um, x3, which is uh, like this. Similarly, the value this is given by this now how do we write the entries in second divided difference column yes we extend this entry how do we extend just add uh, x2 here add x2 here so get f of x0 x1 x2 how do we write the next um, next entry how do we write this neglect this x0 start from x1 x1 x2 x3 then using this how do we write this entry exclude this x1 
start from x2 x2 x3 x4 and how do we write this yes exclude this x2 start from uh, x3 x3 x4 x5 in this way we write all these uh, notations now let us uh, find out all these uh, values let us see how do we find this how do we find this value in its previous column do the subtraction 100 minus 43 divided by what last value minus first value that is uh, x2 minus x0 where is x2 x2 is here minus x0 that is in the denominator you will be having uh, 5 minus 2 yes how do we find um, this value go to its uh, previous column do the subtraction how do we subtract 154 minus 100 divided by last value here minus first value that is uh, x3 minus x1 if you do this yes. then again how do we find this entry go to the previous column do the subtraction in the numerator divided by last minus first that is uh, x4 minus x2 if you do you will get this how do we get this entry go to the previous column 439 minus uh, 259 divided by x5 minus x3 you will get similarly we write the entries in the third divided difference um, as this how do we how we have written this take this and extend for one more uh, value that is we have added um, x3 here we have added x3 here how we have written the next um, value here exclude this x0 start from x1 x1 x2 x3 x4 then how do we write uh, this entry exclude this um, x1 start from x2 so you will get uh, x2 x3 x4 x5 so let us see how do we find these uh, values which we have already you know go to its previous column 27 minus 19 divided by last value minus first value that is uh, x3 minus x0 we'll get this how do we find this 35 minus uh, 27 divided by x4 minus x0 sorry x4 minus um, x1 so if you do this you get this again here to find this value 45 minus 35 divided by last minus first that is the x5 minus x2 if you do that you get this so why we are uh, not going for the fourth divided difference because since the entry is here in this third divided difference are all same since these values are same when you go for fourth divided difference all the entries will be zero why right? while subtracting these values that is 2 minus 2 you will get 0 again here in between these two 2 minus 2 will be 0 so that's why we are we can uh, stop uh, in this column itself now let us substitute all the values from the table here we have to substitute uh, 
f of x naught from the table f of x naught comma x1 f of x naught x1 x2 f of x naught x1 x2 x3 and all let us substitute the values since we need to find the interpolation uh, polynomial here we need to keep uh, x as it is so that we can get a uh, polynomial first interpolation polynomial in the places of uh, x naught x1 you can uh, substitute the values you need to retain x as it is you need to retain x as it is wherever yes we have retained x as it is here you can uh, see and we have substituted the values of uh, x naught x1 and all here I write on this 10 as it is and you can observe this x minus 2 is uh, common in all the terms here x minus 2 here also x minus 2 we have if you take x minus 2 outside what you get inside what remains 43 here and what remains here x minus 4 into 19 if you multiply this 19 inside here and uh, here what you get is this and what remains here this what we do is uh, we multiply these two if you multiply you will get uh, this into 2 we have written as it is again further simplification will give uh, finally this polynomial you can uh, check so this completes a uh, half of the problem now next what they are asking we need to find the value of um, f of x so this is the equal interpolation polynomial we need to find the value of uh, f of x at x is 0, 3 for that let us put x is equal to 3 in the place of x put uh, 3 see we have put wherever x is there we have put 3 you will get the value of f of 3 as 38 similarly they are asking us to find f of uh, 9 also put 9 wherever x is there and get the value as this so this completes the problem